It's kind of a dull, cloudy, overcast, cool day on November the 20th at 3.50 p.m. here in Oklahoma. How is everyone out there? Y'all having a good weekend? Catching any football? Doing anything fun? We're here at Neymar. We're going to go look at the webcam again. We're going to refresh ourselves with what they said about their camera and what you should be able to see. And what they are telling you, what should be moving, and what should not. During polar nights, the only thing in the sky that is moving through the picture is the moon at times when it is visible behind the station. Although the sun is not rising, the bright twilight, and get back down there, refreshed on me, the bright twilight can appear as daylight and can make the webcam switch to color. The sun is not rising, the bright twilight can appear as daylight and can make the webcam switch to color. And during the polar night, the only thing in the sky that is moving through the picture is the moon at times when it is visible. Okay. Knowing that, in their own words, once again, we'll go look and see if we think this is glare. or if our eyes are betraying us or if the camera itself is putting this dot in the sky as you can see that's what we're going to concentrate and look on and I'm stepping it back now when it first showed up right there and remember what they said about the sun and even go back and read it again and look at the wording and think about what they've said think about cameras and reflections and glares and then think about what other things we've been talking about that are going to be visible and you get kind of some weird glare or something over there. It looks like colored reddish. And then over in here, we're going to see, I believe it's two different colors of glare or something. We have disappear behind it. Be coming out the other end. And there's your two different colors of glares or something. And we are in color mode, of course. And the light looks different. The way this reflection is with that beam of light straight up and down. Now what I'm going to do here, everybody, some got, people think it's the sun, but based upon what they've said, we'll use their own words against them. They said illumination. So that looks like a little more than illumination there. So I'm going to go ahead and blow this up as much as I can. I don't know. If, I don't think I've ever done that, maybe. And we'll just put it out there. And let everybody see as much magnification as I can get on it. What does it look like? if it's just a dot from a camera or for those that think it's the sun we're going to get it as close as I can for you and then I'll hold it there for a little while and let you take a good strong look at it and if you still think it's a glare or a camera optical.
then you'll be the biggest one that you've seen, I guess. Maybe not. We're almost at maximum. I can only go up to a thousand percent, and we're there. Well, there you go. Now that's what that thing looks like blown up as much as I can get it. From what I look at, my color looks like dark black and then it looks like there's some bluish and then the bluish kind of has some darkish purplish points around it and then it's kind of a pinkish violetish around the outer edge it's what I see when I look at it. I don't know how you'll see it when when you're looking at it. But that is it. And there you go. Does anybody think that's a sun? that big dot where you think that's a big bad reflection a big bad glare Let's step up a couple more frames Let's see it passes out of frame. Well that's a highlight from there. Think of it what you will. But I can tell you I've never taken pictures of the sun and got something that big. Not that big. Uh -uh. And I already showed you a long time ago when I took pictures of indiscriminate space as well as the moon. I catch weird orbs that have different colors in them. Well, let's go from there and we'll check our earthquakes quickly. So far we don't look too bad. Uh, Papua New Guinea, 5750. These would be on the 20th. Alaska, 32. Hawaii, 3. The Virgin Islands, 3-2 and 3-4. Alaska, 3-1. Puerto Rico, 3. Virgin Islands, 2-7. Then you have some in the Rick James Ridge, 4-8, 4-8, Indonesia, 4-7. East Honshu, east coast of Honshu, 5-2, 4-8. Southern Iran, 4-4. Four, four. Tonga, 5-3. Here, uh, we're not getting any major stuff right now. I'm glad we're getting some high 2 aftershocks. 2.9, 2.8. I believe we did have a 3 a few days ago. Right now, I believe we're clear onto a different issue. I have watched this and I really like this video. This is uh, Professor Truth and he's speaking with Zen Garcia. Zen has a new book. Uh, I believe the title is Sons of God Who Are We? Why Are We Here? And it is. Uh, a lengthy video as you can see it's 
two hours and 14, almost 15 minutes. But it is well worth your time to sit down and watch this. Now, if you go out and rent a movie and sit there and watch it for two hours or an hour and a half, or go out and go to a movie and do the same thing, then you can surely take the time to interest yourself to hear what Zen has to offer you because he is quite knowledgeable and he does speak the truth and there's a lot of things that tie in from the beginning of everything till the end of evil and there, he is showing you all these different things and it is something to think about and a lot of it does make sense uh, I urge you to give this one a try or uh, if his book is in the stores in our area uh, I would urge you to read it go and read it this is another little site over here it's a pretty good site if you want to know more about your enemies Well. This isn't too bad. You can come over here and it's a little bit older. I've, I've seen this man's stuff and well some of it's even dated back to the 90s but the content of it is uh, quite, since it's Illuminati, we'll say quite illuminating. <laughs> take a play of their word and it's got your 13 bloodlines and you can read about who are they you've got all kinds of information uh, that you can get into and ponder and think and discuss with people and it will help you to understand some things it's quite lengthy, at least this one is, uh, and you can uh, you can scroll down to a, a lot of different stories and sources, and here's the Rothschilds, uh, you know, talking a little bit about them. Well, talking a whole lot about them, but that's just where I stopped that particular header. But it talks about businesses, also other interrelated families that may not be the main ones. So these are your guys that are sworn allegiance to the evil, or they're the evil incarnate, but they are the Illuminati families and so I'll put the information and link it to you and you can come do some reading and increase your knowledge on that respect I'll let everyone go it wasn't a great weekend on Saturday here in Oklahoma but I'm really not a fan of either one of their teams I've always been a Nebraska fan <clears throat> but they were beaten too so it was a bad weekend all the way around for college football OSU was beaten, Oklahoma was beaten, and the team that I like was beaten. There's still a few good games to watch. Oh, I like seeing Tebow run that ball in and beat the Jets. Typical Tebow. Everybody needs to get off his back about his passing and just enjoy his game because he's a winner. He's got talent and skill and he makes the people around him better. But, it is just a game, is it not? And to my friend in Canada, uh, you're freaking us out, man. We know you're not Jesus. We know you're not the Antichrist. We know any child that uh, you would have with your wife would not be Jesus. Jesus ascended into the clouds, and he will come back in the same manner. You're already on the ground. That's a dead tip-off to everyone that you're not Jesus. So please stop saying that. Uh, we don't know why you are, and we like you, and you, 
you know, you're my friend and everything, but um, it ain't cool to be saying that about yourself because everybody in the world that hears you say that knows that you're not. So I hope you stop saying that. I'll pray for you, brother. I'll pray for everyone else. Y'all have a good finish out to the weekend. I'll talk to you soon. God bless everyone.